Hello, welcome to Vietnam Journal, our daily English news bulletin on NetVid VTC10. I'm just speaking from Hanoi. Every day we we'll bring you comprehensive and up-to-date information on Vietnam. And following major stories on Wednesday. HRD and we have opened the first diamond grading course in Vietnam. Halome rank among top 5 Asia Island paradises. I will get to know the merchant's life on Vietnamese River. Diamond has not only been considered jewelry, but also a new investment channel for Vietnamese investors, apart from a real estate stock and gold. Recently, Belgian-based Institute of Geminology, HRD and Wealth, in collaboration with Vietnam's Diamond International Investment Corporation, has opened a specialized training course for Vietnamese investors interested in joining this market. This is the first diamond grading course ever held in Vietnam. Representatives from AgriBank and other diamond enterprises are the first members of the course. During the 12-day course, two prestigious experts from HRD will give learners basic lessons about grading diamond clarity, color and the value of each piece. The course starts solve cooperation between Vietnamese diamond businesses and HRD in terms of trade, science and technology. In the coming term, HRD plans to build up its agency in Vietnam. Member of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations needs to apply common quality standards to improve the area control competitiveness and expand the market. The information will be released at the 8th meeting of the Task Force on Asian Standards for Horic Control Produce and Other Food Crops. The event took place on Hanoi on Tuesday. At the meeting, the delegates focused on building the standards for horticulture producers and will be presented to ASEAN Senior Officials Meeting for Agriculture, or SOM, this year. Until now, this task force has set up common standards for ASEAN crops such as mango, watermelon and durian. Vietnam has many advantages for exporting some produces such as coffee, rice and fruits. In the first quarter of 2012, Vietnam's export turnover of agricultural products reached 5.9 billion US dollars and is expected to reach 26 billion US dollars this year. And following some other economic news in brief. Vietnam reported a 424 million US dollar trade surplus in March and a 220 million dollar surplus in the first quarter of this year. The export value in the first quarter reached 24.8 billion US dollars, up 24.3 percent on year. The FDI sector reached 13.7 billion dollars of export revenue up 44.3% on year. This is the first quarterly trade surplus of the country in three years. The price of Vietnam rice export have gone up by 15 to 25 US dollars per ton since early April due to global increasing demand and diminishing rice reserve. The price for 5% broken rice and 20% broken rice reached 450 US dollars and 425 US dollars per ton. Vietnamese rice export since the beginning of 2012 have already signed contracts for exporting 3.6 million tons to major markets including China, Indonesia, the Philippines and Africa. In response to the national drive for greener production, Vietnamese enterprises need to apply modern technologies to reduce energy consumption. For many enterprises, especially small and medium ones, this job is beyond their capability. Therefore, the soft landing from Vietnam's Environmental Protection Fund, or VEPF, has become appealing to local enterprises. To implement a modern production chain which is capable of reducing the amount of energy consumption and carbon dioxide emitted in the environment, enterprises have to invest billions of VND. In the current situation, banking interest rate up to 20% is a major barrier that lowering the green production program's effectiveness. In case of lacking assistance from other capital sources, enterprises are hardly capable of initiating environmental projects. For this reason, the Credit Assistance Program 
for greener production projects have attracted attention of many enterprises. With incentive terms like low interest rate, three to seven years of lending duration, is Tansi Outrex's application. This program is considered as a financial flow for many enterprises having high capital demand in order to carry out our environmental production projects and aim at greener production process. Với cái lãi suất 4% một năm, thì doanh nghiệp có thể sử dụng cái nguồn vốn này để mà mua sắm các thiết bị mà nó thăng, nó tạo ra một cái cái sản lượng có thể tăng hơn. Nhưng mà nó cái cái hỗ trợ gián tiếp của nó là gì? Là nó thay đổi cái sử dụng năng lượng, giảm gián tiếp phát tải, phát thải CO2 ra ngoài không khí. From 2002 to July 2011, the Credit Assistance Program of VEPF have provided loans totaling more than 556 billion VND for 113 programs over 33 cities and provinces in Vietnam. The program in Siwish Dispersal Sector had the highest proportion of 45.14%. This program will last till the end of 2016. Thus, this is a good opportunity for enterprises to implement new technologies and reduce the amount of energy consumption. However, to receive the credit assistance, enterprises need to meet the some basic requirement of the program. Để thực hiện cái, cái hỗ trợ này, thì doanh nghiệp phải đáp ứng ba cái điều kiện cơ bản. Thứ nhất là họ phải có cái tổng tài sản trên báo cáo tài chính nhanh nhất gấp 5 lần cái khoản vay đó. Thứ hai là cái cái khoản mà vay tối đa là 500 ngàn đô la Mỹ. Cái điều kiện thứ ba là cái thời gian vay vốn của họ không quá 7 năm. Nếu các doanh nghiệp muốn tiếp cận mà tốt hơn thì việc đầu tiên họ nên có một cái tư vấn cho họ để làm một dự án. The essence of Greener Production Program is to discover the best technological solution to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and raw material consumptions, which will finally bring economic benefits to enterprises and enhance the price competitiveness of products. Realizing long-term benefits, many enterprises have proactively invested in implementing modern technologies and achieve encouraging results. Cái công cụ để áp dụng cho cái Uh, chương trình sản xuất sạch hơn có nghĩa rằng chúng ta giảm thiểu những cái công việc nhỏ nhất, uh, giảm thiểu sử dụng năng lượng, giảm thiểu sử dụng về nước, uh, giảm thiểu các cái việc khác. Nói chung là do trong cái điều kiện ban đầu khi chúng ta chưa có một cái hệ thống xử lý nước thải hoàn chỉnh thì cái chương trình này có cái tác dụng rằng làm cho nó giảm thiểu cái xử lý, giảm thiểu cái, cái, cái chất thải ra ngoài uh, môi trường. Và khi mà chúng ta có được cái hệ thống uh, xử lý nước thải mang tính cách là chuyên nghiệp, mang tính cách là vận hành theo máy móc thiết bị, mang tính cách công nghệ rồi đó, thì cái chương trình sản xuất sạch hơn này nó lại trở thành một cái phương tiện là giảm phí và tiết kiệm năng lượng để đảm bảo cho cái hoạt động chúng tôi, uh, cái giá thành nó được đảm bảo, có lợi cho người tiêu dùng. These practical assistance activities have convinced many enterprises to participate. 25% of enterprises are expected to implement greener production process in the end of 2015. Energy security and environmental protection will no longer be difficult problems for Vietnam authorities in the future. Vietnam Journal. It's not just news, it's life in Vietnam. CNN announced on Monday that Halong Bay in northern Vietnam ranked among the top five Asia Island paradises. This recognition is expected to have attract more visitors to this bay this year. The other places in this list belong to Malaysia, Thailand and Indonesia. CNN claims that Hat Long Bay is one of the most stunning boat destinations anywhere in the world. The mysterious limestone caves inside Hat Long Bay's bigger islands and the incredible sunsets are two sides not to be missed. 
Hạ Long lies in Vietnam's northern province of Quảng Ninh, Vietnam. Last November, it was recognized globally as one of the world's new seven wonders of nature. The Global Pulse provisional results were announced by the New Open World Corporation, an associate of the New Seven Wonders Foundation. The river is one of the biggest and harshest streams in Vietnam, yet many ethnic minority people still live alongside the river, particularly the Zhao Mueang people. To meet their trade demand, merchant ships has appeared on Hoa Binh Lake, which were separated from the river. Let's discover their flowing life in our following report. The Da River, or as the French call it, the Black River, lies in the northwest of Vietnam. Having its spring in China, the Da River runs through Lai Chau, Sơn La, and Hoa Binh. Known as the mighty river in the work of Nguyễn Tuân, a famous Vietnamese writer, when the Hoa Binh Dam was built in 1979, the river made many hills and mountains to become little islands on it. Thus many local people had to move to a higher place. Surrounded by water and mountain, the local people had to trade with merchants on the lake. Since then, the lake has been a place where Mường and Zhao people in the area trade with king merchants. Most of the merchants were born in a seafaring family, so all had a hard time starting. There used to be much more merchant ships, sometimes reached the number 30. But two times, the number has been dropping slowly. Now there are only 10 ships left, running by 10 families. Trong cái việc mà người đàn ông phải gánh vác các thứ thì nó nói chung là nó vất vả hơn vì là nó gánh vác công việc nặng. Trong gia đình thì nói chung là những công việc thì nó nhiều mà ở đây thì nói chung là người người đàn ông thì nó gánh vác nặng nhỉ. Vì là tất cả các thứ vì nó đều là rừng núi vất vả nên là cái người đàn ông phải gánh hết cả mọi các vấn đề. Nhiên là nó có sự đoàn kết đâu thế thôi. Anh em xa thì nói chung là bán anh em gần mua anh anh em xa thì nói chung là mình đi đến đâu thì mình lại phải có cái sự đoàn kết đó. Nên là nó làm cái gì thế thôi. Mình ở nhà thì mình có sự láng giềng nhau nhưng mà lên đây thì lại có sự đoàn kết của tất cả những anh em đều đi với nhau. While the husband handle the hard works in the family, the wives take care of the family businesses. On the market day each week, the ladies on the merchant ships have to prepare for the market. The children don't have to attend school during summer, so they also participate in helping their mother. A clear river bank with a couple of merchant ships could become a busy marketplace. There is a wide variety of goods, from fruits to electric products. <coughs> người ta thế chẳng hạn như là người ta phong tục người ta sống thế nào thì mình chẳng hạn mình lên uh, uống bia rượu giao lưu đám cưới cũng đi giao lưu đám cưới rồi thì đám hỏi đám cất nhà người ta mời thì mình cũng đi đến để uh, gây cái uh, uh, tình cảm với người ta. When the sun is going down, the merchants start to leave for next week's market day or this exact location. The Zhao and Mường people will meet again with the king merchants from the plain. The story about the Vietnamese merchants' floating life has wrapped up our news bulletin for today. For comments and feedbacks, please send an email to nevidaily at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.